Hey guys, welcome to Purpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I want to go over a few things that I have. I got some stuff from the dump the other day. I got this table. Um, it was just a plain brown wood stain, kind of an orangish color. And I want to put this in my booth to sell. And stuff in my booth sells really well in black. Black sells well, that's just primitive. It's what I sell, it's what I do. So when people come in and they're looking for primitive, um, that's what they're looking for is black furniture, dark furniture. Um, and this had some water stains on the top. It had probably been out in the rain a few days at the dump before I got there. So I decided to sand it down. I didn't get any footage of this, unfortunately. It's been raining and uh, for like two weeks straight. And I just decided that I was gonna go out and do this and never pushed play or record on my phone. So I did not get any footage of what this looked like before. Uh, it's just a magazine rack. Like I said, it was just plain stain. It was like an orangish stain. And I took it out and gave it two good coats of black flat black spray paint, my Rust-Oleum, I love that stuff. Uh, it's got a sealer in it, so it's, it's, I will spray seal it again once I'm done. But I wanted to just show you, before I do anything else to it, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys what I did. So I did spray it all down. It's got a few little nicks and dings, which is perfectly fine. It's gonna be great when I sand it. I will be sanding and distressing it so that um, it looks a little bit aged. I also got this a lamp and I really like it. It's got a little moose on it with some trees. It's got a little broken spot right here, which I'm going to fix with a little bit of black electrical tape. I'll just wrap it around there so that, you know, you can't get your finger in there and touch anything you're not supposed to. It did not come with a shade, so I have a couple of shades um, that I probably got at the dump also that I'm going to try to see which one I like better. They're both a little bit dirty and gross, so I'm either going to have to try and clean them up or paint them, depending on which one that I use and make it look a little bit better. It does work, I have tried it. I put the little bulb in and tried it out. So I couldn't leave this at the dump uh, for them to throw away. It, I, it had to come home, but I thought these two pieces would go great together. We can um, get a shade on there, get a bulb in it, and we'll see what we can do with this table. So let's start with that first. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Kills Tribute sample. This is a brownish gray color. Those are the numbers. I'll put the link down in the description. I got this off, off from Amazon. So I'm gonna put a little bit here. Then I have a brush with hair on it. All right. Just gonna get most of the paint off. And I have this is a Jamie Ray Vintage Grain Sack Stripes. So I am just going to put this on the top of this table. Just to give it some character. It's a little bit watery, so we'll see what that looks like. Oh, not too bad. I'm gonna sand it down. So I got a little bit juicy over here, a little watery. Looks better down here, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. And all I did was line the bottom up with the edge, and that way I know I'm in the right spot. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit less juicy on this one. 
sacks on there. Okay, so it's not it's not raining out, so I thought I'd come outside. I have this these IOD stamps. This is the Le, Le Campaign. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but there it is right there. It comes with two sets of stamps. So I want to put some of these on my table on the corner. They're offset. So I want to put just a little small detail like this little stamp here. So I'm going to pull it off down here. I have my roller. paint on there. Do that. And then I'm just gonna kind of go off to the side with it. I moved a little bit. There we go. Show you guys what that looks like. It looks cool. Okay, we're gonna go up in this upper corner up here and we're gonna do another one on the opposite side. Same thing. There we go. Now that's not full on because I am going to distress it anyway. I okay, got some 220 sandpaper. Okay, so we have our, our paint, grain sack, and our little flower on either side. And uh, it looks distressed and old. I like that. We've got a little bit of a something here. I may try and cover that up with something. But I think that came out really good. That was quick and easy. So I'm gonna take by hand, I'm gonna take some paper and do these little spindles. See if I can distress those up a little bit. It's kind of hard to do it with a with a uh, sander. All right, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna wipe it down and get all my fingerprints all over it and then I'm going to spray it and seal it. Father's Day, July 4th, cookouts, family gatherings, they're all coming, summer's almost here. And I wanted to tell you guys about the two-in-one hammock that I just got from Suncreek. I was a little hesitant once it came and I saw the pieces and I thought that it would be difficult to put together 
but this was very easy. The directions were super easy to follow. You don't need any special tools to put this together, which is a plus. And you can make this into a hammock so that you can lay down. They send you all the parts and pieces and even the hammock. Or you can set it up the way I have it as like a chair or a swing. And it comes with that as well. So that's why it is the two-in-one. This is so easy to put together. I really, really enjoyed this. Uh, sitting out by the fire and just enjoying the weather outside. The frame is made of large tubing and it comes with little pins that click into holes and it is adjustable so you can make it wider to, for your hammock or it clicks into a smaller frame for your seat that you can make with your hammock. Canvas and ropes are very sturdy and well made and it will hold over 400 pounds so this will hold one or two people and I love the quality and the sturdiness when I sit in it it doesn't feel like it's going to break or drop me and I really like it a lot that it has a little pocket on the side where you can put your your phone or your tablet or a book or even your little snacks. This comes in many different colors and designs and is really fast in shipping. The best thing about it is I have a 15% off code. It's a Father's Day special. So if you want to purchase one of these wonderful swings or hammock, go down in the description and check out my link that I have below. And don't forget to use the 15% off code. I found this moose lamp at the dump in the free pile and I snatched it right up and brought it home to make sure that it would work. I saw that it did have a little chip off to the side where you put your bulb in and I wanted to make sure that that is covered up really well so nobody accidentally sticks their finger in there. It's just a little bit of plastic but you never know. So I wanted to add a little bit of electrical tape around the edges so that that little piece that was missing would be covered up and you wouldn't accidentally um, you know maybe electrocute yourself or something I don't I don't think there was enough there that missing that you could but you never know so I just wrapped that around there a few times and then made sure that the little clicker worked and that it was down really really good and stuck and then I switched over to my uh, shades now I have this like reddish burgundy one and I thought it looked okay I did have it on the lamp to see what it looked like and it looked okay uh, but it was pretty dirty and nasty and there was like these greasy fingerprints or something on the inside and it was super super dirty and I did clean it up but I think it would have to be painted on the inside 
And I figured if I was going to paint one, I would my I would rather paint this lighter colored one. So that's the one that I chose. So I kept my little plate from doing my stencils on my table and I just added a little bit more paint to that and I decided I would use that grayish brown paint to paint my lampshade. Now this took three coats on the outside. I did two coats and then put it on the lamp and I um, turned it on and you could still see like little pinholes through it and it just didn't look quite right so I did a third coat on the outside and then I did two coats on the inside as well I don't think I show that but I wanted to make sure that it was kind of a little yellowish on the inside and I just wanted to make sure it looked clean and fresh so I just uh, did two coats on that as well and that took care of the little pinholes and a little weird a light that would come filter through those little holes. I hope you like the trash to treasure makeovers that I did, the table and the lamp. I think I brought them both back to life and they escaped the trash. So uh, check out the description below for the link to the paint that I used on the lampshade, the link to the hammock, so the 15% off code that you can use when you purchase. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.